Mark Rober has discovered the formula for going viral on YouTube. His crazy science experiments have become some of the most popular uploads on the platform, to the point where right now he averages an insane 37 million views per video, and his audience just keeps growing. When I put out a video, I get an increase of 300,000 subscribers in like two days. Now, I covered Mark in a video last year, but since then I've learned a lot more about the tactics he uses to make banger after banger. I've realized that this guy literally has a three-step formula for his viral videos, and today we're gonna get to the bottom of it. You see, the reason Mark's YouTube strategy is worth studying is the fact he's part of a very exclusive club, and it started by accident. In 2011, he randomly uploaded this Halloween prank video. It went viral, and the scientist inside Mark Rober realized something. Viral videos aren't just random, they can be engineered. For entertainment channels on YouTube, there are certain tiers. You've got a huge group of creators who hover somewhere between 1 million to 10 million views a video, but there's a huge gap to the next level up. Only a small handful of creators consistently get more than 20 million views on their videos. So what's the difference? YouTubers like Mark know something about the algorithm that keeps them ahead of the competition. Let's go through his 3 step formula by analysing this video here. So a little later on we'll actually watch some of the video, because Mark does some pretty interesting things in his editing. But first, we need to talk about something that is often overlooked. Which takes us on to step number 1. Mark has a system for viral ideas. What I've noticed about some of the best creators in the world is they are incredible at identifying viral opportunities. Someone like Mark is constantly thinking of ideas. His real skill is being able to filter through them and pick the one that has the best chance of going viral. And the good news is there's a bit of a system to this. I've noticed that the best ideas on Mark's channel have to pass four main criteria before they get made. The first thing is all Mark's videos have an extreme element. It shouldn't be a surprise that viral videos need to be somewhat unique. If they were easy to replicate, there would be too much competition. For example, the world's largest videos concept is a proven way to stand out. The algorithm rewards going to the extreme. The second thing is Mark's ideas are optimised for new viewers. His videos can be shown to someone who has never seen his channel before and still be interesting. They have wide appeal. Mark's video ideas are usually previously proven. As much as it's good to innovate, most viral ideas on YouTube are just adaptations of things that have worked in the past. For example, the video we are covering today is just a progression of this video from 2019. This removes the guesswork. If it's worked for you or for another channel, we can already predict there's a good chance it will work again. And finally, Mark has said if he can't visualise the title and thumbnail, he doesn't even start filming. We'll cover some of the tactics Mark uses in this area later in the video. If you look at any of Mark's recent uploads, they all follow these four criteria. But now it's time for the really interesting part. Because ideas are useless without execution. Which takes us on to step number two. Mark edits for the algorithm. I heard something about Mark recently that really surprised me, and it's one of the main reasons I wanted to make this video in the first place. Despite having nearly 20 million subscribers, Mark still edits and writes his own videos. Now I've worked with plenty of 1 million plus YouTubers, and trust me, this is very rare. So why? Well, let's take a listen to Mark explaining why he refuses to outsource these two things. I think the biggest thing I probably don't skimp on relative to my peers that they do is probably like the edit, right? And like the stories, like I write all my own stories. Like I'm, I'm an okay builder compared to like other people. Like I'm actually not that good. But the one thing I think that maybe is a little bit of a special sauce is like framing the story, coming up with a cool story and just telling that story. I'll film the thing and then at the end, I figure out what the most interesting parts of the story was and then I like thread the needle to, to create that narrative. And so part of that then is also the edit and packaging that together and I, I just don't know how I would outsource that. Okay, so Mark's really hyped up his storytelling and editing. YouTube's algorithm, as we've discussed many times before, rewards creators who can hold the viewer's attention throughout the video. So let's take a look and see Mark's genius in action, starting with the first 30 seconds. Two, one. Oh! This is me reclaiming my title for the world's largest and tallest elephant toothpaste experiment. And this is a totally different kind of reaction we discovered in all our experimentation called devil's toothpaste, which is insanely reactive 
and super dangerous. I'll explain why in a minute, but for now, here's a hint. Now, the first thing I want to point out is that Mark delivers on the promise right away. When you click on this video, you're clicking for explosions. And guess what? In the opening section, 7 of the first 15 shots we see are explosions. This instantly rewards the viewer for choosing Mark's video. Secondly, the edit frequency is very intense. In fact, just in this intro, there are 16 separate cuts. The average length of a clip is 1.8 seconds. Mark understands that if there's any part of the video that should be fast paced, it's the intro. These tactics grab your attention from the first second. What happens next is even more important. What's up, Fletcher? This is Fletcher. And this is also Fletcher a year before this call, but unbeknownst to everyone at the time, also pictured here under all that amazing hair was a fast growing brain tumor. I secretly vowed that if he made it to 13 years old, I would fly him and his family out and surprise him with just the dopest birthday party ever. And not long after, I texted Fletcher this picture. So he knew we had closely matching hairstyles, but what he didn't know is that plans were already underway for him and I to take back the record for the world's largest elephant and toothpaste. Mark always gives his videos a strong why, and I think this is often missing on YouTube. Most people would just take this idea and make the whole video around the toothpaste explosion. But by adding in this underlying story, Mark gives the whole video purpose. He's also blending two viral video concepts into one. Now the video is not only a world's largest video, but it's also a wholesome surprise. Mark is making viral videos within his viral video. However, the first difficulty comes after this point, and it's where a lot of people fail, the build-up phase. Compared to the excitement of the intro and the emotion of the why, Mark actually building the experiment could seem boring, but he keeps this part interesting using a storytelling structure. Problem, discovery, explanation. He uses this pattern in the building section of every video. It's a perfect example of show don't tell when it comes to YouTube. And then comes the most important parts of the video. Mark has three separate payoffs. Yes! <laughs> and then when we gathered for the picture, I snuck up right behind him and took off my mask. All right, cool. What do you guys want to do next? What should we do? <laughs> In the last few years, YouTube's algorithm has changed to favor what they call viewer satisfaction. They want to promote videos that keep people entertained and leave them feeling happy and fulfilled. Think about it. People clicked on this video expecting one explosion and they actually ended up getting two huge explosions and a heartwarming surprise. To really succeed on YouTube, you need to over deliver for your viewers. But for Mark's formula, there's still a vital part missing, which takes us on to the next step. Mark uses perfect packaging. Mark knows that all his effort up to this point would be useless if he doesn't get the thumbnail and title right. How you package your video is arguably the most important thing. The first thing you'll notice about his title is it's very concise. 44 characters to be exact. Data shows that the best performing viral videos have titles under 55 characters long. As we mentioned earlier, world's largest emphasizes that extreme aspect. Even using the word explosion instead of experiment adds to the excitement and danger that Mark is trying to communicate. However, I think the real genius is in the thumbnail. First of all, the colors of the devil's toothpaste immediately grab your eye. This is emphasized by having the background of the thumbnail washed out with neutral colors. The contrast makes it jump through the screen. The same is true of Mark himself. His white clothing stands out. If he was wearing a black t-shirt here, he would be much harder to recognize. Also, notice how Mark is used to show the scale. The small human body beside the massive explosion makes you realize just how insane this video is going to be. To add to this, the thumbnail is in action. Mark running away makes it look like a screenshot from the video. This emphasizes the danger and urgency. You're clicking for that exact moment. It also follows what I like to call the three element rule. A good thumbnail is a simple thumbnail. There are three main elements at play here. The explosion, the arrow, and Mark himself. Having too many elements in one thumbnail adds unnecessary complexity. My friend Dan noticed that Mark often changes his thumbnails if he's not seeing results. With all my clients, I use a tool called AB Testing in TubeBuddy to do this automatically. 
it can switch between two thumbnails and pick the one getting the best CTR and views. I honestly have no idea why more people aren't using it, so I've left a special link in the description below for you to give it a try. Mark certainly inspires me to be a better YouTuber. If you found this video helpful or interesting in any way, all I ask for is a subscribe. For now though, I'll see you in the next one.